China White by Rita Pendry. China White is the first in the Mercy Johnson series. Mercy Johnson is a criminal defense attorney in Washington, D.C. She's African American. She's in her 50s. She's married, lives with her husband and her grandmother, and has a history of 20 years as a criminal defense attorney. Mercy was maintaining, she thought, until the prosecutor whined again, objecting to her cross-examination of the jailhouse informant. That did it, the last straw. Mercy looked at the jury, rolling her eyes. Your Honor, my client has a Sixth Amendment right to confront and cross-examine his accusers. What the government wants you to do is write out the Constitution, pretend it doesn't exist. Our Court of Appeals would certainly not countenance such an approach. The jury, Five of the twelve African American nodded. They knew the judge was favoring the prosecution at every turn. The judge ignored the argument. He ruled against mercy, sustaining the government's objection for what seemed like the umpteenth time in this two-week trial. Mercy stood up. She asked to approach the bench. The judge denied the request. I've ruled, Miss Johnson. If you disagree with my ruling, you certainly know where the Court of Appeals is. Mercy was livid. She took a deep breath. Sure I do, Your Honor, but I can't get there just yet. Right now, I'm trying to get justice from this court, and it's an uphill battle, sir. The judge's face was red. A vein in his thin neck seemed about to explode. He slammed his gavel. Miss Johnson, I find you in contempt of this court, and I fine you $100. Payable this minute, Miss Johnson, or I will instruct the marshal to step you back. Mercy was at the podium. She moved to the council table and bent to pick up her purse. She put it on the table, made a show of rummaging through it, found her wallet. She pulled out two $100 bills. She asked if she might approach. The judge grunted and held out his hand. Mercy walked to the bench and placed the two $100 bills on the judge's open palm. Mercy looked at the jury and then said to the judge, loudly enough for the jury to hear, Here, Your Honor, here's the $100. And here's another hundred. I'm paying in advance. She could hear jurors stifling giggles. The judge erupted. He stood up, slammed down the gavel, strode off the bench and out of the courtroom. The flustered courtroom deputy stammered, All rise. This court is in recess for 15 minutes. Mercy's husband, Walter, came out of the audience and into the well of the court. He looked stricken. Mercy, honey, are you all right? Mercy said, I'm fine, baby. He just makes me so mad I could spit. And that bleach blonde hussy of a prosecutor better watch herself. I'm about to yank that fake hair right off her head. Walter looked like he might faint. Mercy, you have to calm down. That judge is going to put you in jail. He was about to stroke out. You can't go to jail, Mercy. Huh, she snorted. That cracker judge ain't going to send me to jail. He knows he's a racist son of a... Mercy looked around the courtroom quickly and spotted two elderly women smiling sweetly at her. Gun. And he knows his rulings are dead wrong. He can't defend anything he's done in this trial. He won't want the publicity. Walter was not appeased. Mercy, are you sure? That's a mighty big risk you're taking, it seems to me. Mercy took his arm, pulled him closer to her, and lowered her voice. Now look, Walter, I told you not to come down here for this trial. I told you about this judge. Trying a case in front of this judge is not for the faint of heart. He and that blonde bombshell look-alike are trying to railroad my client. I have to stop them. That's the work I do. I think you better go home and wait for me. Better yet, go home and make me some supper. That would really help me. Not on your life, Walter said. Then sit down and let me think. A group of students from a local university visiting the courtroom as part of a political science field trip filled the front rows of the gallery. The professor described the court's contempt powers. A young man raised his hand. I just decided, I'm switching my major. I'm pre-law now. The others laughed. Which side, the, pro the professor asked, smiling. John Morrow was not smiling. I'm going to law school. Then I'm going to work for Mercy Johnson. Uh -huh.